What in the world is this? Please, somebody. Is this for like US Customs or something? What is this? The last step for this full interior to be completely assembled is to install these beautiful, beautiful, I love these seatbelts. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another very exciting episode on the C63 AMG. This episode, we are going to be assembling the whole entire interior. Finally, we got our seatbelts back. We got our parts from different parts of the world. Something came from Ukraine, something came from Latvia. We got just in general, the parts were hard to get. If you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and lightly tap the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to smash that like button to show your support and let's continue with this video. Look what we got here. This right here, my friends, is some seat pelts. Look at that color. So we decided to go with the moreish goldish yellow color for the C63 and the reason for that is because a lot of the interior already has that yellow goldish color right here. So this is just gonna be absolutely gorgeous. We were first thinking of doing, oh look at that, or look at that seat belt or the steering wheel, sorry about that. Look at that, boom. So initially we were thinking of doing just like a yellow pinstripe on the sides but we looked at it and you literally can't really even tell that there's yellow pinstriping on the seatbelt. It's super subtle and we wanted something to stand out. So we got these and humongous shout out to my guys at l &D Solutions. If you guys need your seatbelts rebuilt, um, any kind of upholstery work, dashboards, anything to do with the SRS system, modules, anything you need, go ahead and press the link down below. Contact my boys and they will plug you guys up with OEM quality work and uh, crazy turnaround speeds. But Right now what we're gonna do is actually assemble the whole entire interior. On the other side of the car actually, we can show you, there is a lot of interior pieces that need to be assembled. And a lot of them are just right there taking up room inside of the shop. So since we got all the parts back and we can actually go ahead and finalize everything on the interior, we're gonna hop on into the interior and assemble everything. What we gotta change is the rear seat airbag right here, this current airbag and install all the airbags. Is there are more airbags blown. That's just the two right there. Just the two and then all the bags. I went ahead and went to Harbor Freight, bought a nice bright flashlight. Oh, sucker's really bright. That way we get some good lighting up in the interior. Look at that, Ooh, look at that dude. Thing glows. This interior is gorgeous. We gotta start assembling it. So I guess without further ado, let's hop right in it. I mean, look at that rear end. I mean, look at this rear, everything in the back is just stuffed with parts. So yeah, all this stuff gotta be assembled and we gotta get it done. That way we get one thing off the list. Look at that lighting. Let's get to work. So we basically just unpackaged this airbag and what in the world is this? Please, somebody. Is this for like US Customs or something? What is this? How much does that sucker weigh right there? This? Two pounds, three. More. It's pretty heavy actually though. It's pretty darn heavy. Look, it's welded on like professionally. And then it's literally bolted on just randomly. Look at that. This airbag probably weighs half a pound. Yeah, that's weird. That is really weird. Why'd they do this? Somebody help me. Comment down below, please. Let's get this thing installed, dude. So while he's unplugging the battery, I'm actually gonna give you guys an update on a couple of things. And I want you guys to vote in the comment section what video should go first. Uh, here's my RS3. For those of you guys that are new to this channel, I actually rebuilt this whole entire front end. And I have a series of modding it starting pretty darn soon. Mods are already coming in. So what should drop this Sunday? Either a build on this or assembly on that or another C63 video because we're gonna start busting through this thing because all the parts are gonna be finally here. And by the way, that right there is not a new build. The one behind it is a new build and then there's one over there that's a new build. So that's not, that's just a regular 335. That's nothing fancy, nothing cool. Are we ready to put the bags in? Let's do it.
All right, I apologize about a couple of the scenes being kind of flashy like that. It's weird, I guess the camera picks up the LED flickering um, 100 times better than our eyesight does because I can't see any flickering. But we got the seat all assembled. It's looking beautiful. It's looking complete. Now we're gonna hop on to this current airbag right over here and um, see how this stuff kind of pulls apart. I think it's on clips, I'm not sure. Hopefully it's not on rivets because if it's, if it's on rivets, that's literally the biggest pain in the butt in the world. If it's on clips, like it seems to be right over there um then it's gonna be much easier do we got the new one let's see that new one that way we can see what it's on you know let's go ahead and unpackage that thing real quickly hopefully we're not getting the bag yeah don't cut the bag you don't want that we still need the bag uh, i know bmw has them on clips and rivets so yeah okay bag undone now and um it looks like okay so that looks like it's on a bolt that looks like on bolt on bolt and this here probably a clip no hopefully a clip because it's a square and that's kind of a big head for a rivet but i guess we won't really tell until we pull it off so let's get to pulling it off So went ahead and dropped the whole headliner here. As you guys can tell, it's pretty loose. And we see that the current airbag is actually on clips. So it's not on screws, it's on clips. Right now what I gotta do is kind of study that first clip because I have access from the front and back of it. And then once I make a little tool to get those unclipped, we can kind of run all of them and unclip them. That way it's gonna be easy and straightforward because it seems like the new airbag doesn't have any clips. So we have to save these clips and reuse them. So. Let's get that little tool or let's kind of get some brainstorming in there and get all that stuff situated and uh, the airbag out. It's going to be a pain in the butt. I know I hate current airbags, but we got to do it. Went ahead and kind of looked over the clip and this one here is actually really easily designed. All you do is pull the two pins right there, right in the center and uh, it comes right out. The BMW ones are super tricky. This one is actually kind of simple. So let's get them all out. And here comes in the new one. Um, we saved all the clips except for one, but I do have an extra clip from BMW and it should fit right into this little square hole right there, rectangular hole. There's that new one, boom. It's gonna get bolted on right over there and everything else clipped in and we should have a brand new current airbag and we can reassemble this headliner and continue working to the seat belts. So let me tell you a little bit what just happened. We literally had to drop the whole entire or headliner just because in the back over there, I don't know if you guys can quite tell and it's really hard to get the camera up in there, but let me see if I can get pretty close to it. You guys see those right there? And then there is some kind of a clip thing on the headliner. Anyways, the headliner needs to be scooted all the way back up and then scooted into position and then everything bolted on. Yeah, so we literally had to drop everything and right now it's gonna be put into position. How's it looking back there? Pretty close. That's it, it's in. It's in, both of them are tight. Yep. And now, once that's tight, we can clip this one in here. <clears throat> hang on, let me see if I can make sure, make sure, uh, hang on, make sure this thing is sticking out the other side. Yeah, slide it all the way through. And now it goes up and there you go. And now it's both tight back there? Yep. Perfect. Yeah, screw them in right here. Are we chilling? Yeah, and then it clips in all around the sun. Uh, the, what is this called? I literally jumped out of moonroof or skylight, whatever sunroof you want to call it, because I don't think this one actually is fully functional. I think it just flaps up, not 200% sure. But, yep, let's get that thing fully buckled in. Man, that was a pain in the butt. All 
Alrighty guys, it is the next morning here. Last night we had to get a couple things done, but we did get a lot of work done. We got this whole entire headliner all installed and basically everything is ready for the seat belts. The last step for this full interior to be completely assembled is to install these beautiful, beautiful, I love these seat belts. I mean, they have like this nice goldish color to them. It's not really a yellow. It's more of like a gold something yellow. What I, I don't know exactly what color this is. Whoever knows, LND, comment down below. Dennis, you got this. Let's get these installed, bro. I'm really excited to see what they look like in here. Man, they're just gonna be contrasted to this beautiful black and uh, yellow striping so clean. Alrighty guys, we are all finished up with the interior and I'm holding a super bright flashlight for you guys because it is extremely dark in here. But take a look at these rear seats. Everything is looking nice and beautiful. Man, this color combo is just absolutely gorgeous. We went ahead and took some cinematic shots for you guys. So go ahead and enjoy them right now. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed those little cinematic shots we pieced together for you on this interior over here. It's absolutely stunning and by far the best looking interior we've had on the Backyard Boys YouTube channel. It's just gorgeous and Mercedes truly blew themselves out of the water for this one, so thumbs up for you guys. But a little couple of sneak peeks before we wrap up the episode. We do have two new absolutely stunning builds 
and they're gonna be coming to the channel very very soon just kind of sneak peek my old copart video or the video before this one here is got one of the builds in there so out of the three you guys can kind of decide which one it is you guys have three choices this sunday we have an epic golf art video coming to you guys and we do have one more build which is kind of hidden for the time being with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i apologize sometimes there was some bad lighting or whatnot but that's the best i can do if you guys want to support the channel get some backyard boys merch it'll be one of the links down below and i'll see you guys this sunday peace out stay tuned don't forget to follow my instagram at byb tim